Just before we came on air, I was uh, speaking to Paul Hirschen. He is a deputy spokesperson with the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Started by asking him about how Israel's international standing and its image was being affected by these recent attacks on the UN shelter and in Shajair. Well, well, thank you for having me. It's always good to be with you. Uh, uh, excellent question. We, we, we are in conversation with, with our friends uh, around the world. They're fully aware of what's going on. Uh, I, I think that uh, more so than ever before, there's an awareness and an understanding of the, the dilemma which Israel is, is, is facing. We didn't want to be in this conflict. We don't want to be in this conflict. We've done everything that we can to get out of it. Uh, and we we're, we're, find ourselves up against a, a school of thought which has elevated suicide to a place in society which amounts to, to nothing less than the worship of death. One time they locate themselves in a school, the next time they locate themselves next to a school. Uh, the same is true for hospitals, for mosques, for private homes, uh, almost as if they have a desire to, to generate uh, civilian casualties and deaths on, on both sides, on the Israeli side because they hate us and, and, and on the Palestinian side because through some sort of a, a, a cynical, couldn't care less attitude, they, they, they want to be able to generate a, a public relations war against us. Okay, well let's go back that to the point that you made, day. sir, about uh, the... Uh, we, we don't have in either of... Your friends and allies have an understanding of the dilemma you're in. Let me make three points to you now. John Kerry. U.S. Secretary of State was caught on camera mm -hmm. only a few days ago saying, quote, it's a hell of a pinpoint operation. He was being sarcastic. The White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest tweeted a few hours ago that, quote, we call on Israel to do more to meet their own standards for protecting innocent civilians. The White House has just condemned Israel's shelling of the U.N. facility in the Gaza Strip. Your allies are not, I mean, that's not sounding like they're understanding. They're actually condemning you here. Well, I, I don't know so much about condemning or, or rather than conversing. Uh, and, and I point out to you that you yourself just said uh, uh, that uh, the, 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 the request was made that Israel uh, does more to meet its own very high standard. And that's exactly the point here, is that the Israeli military has taken unprecedented steps. We have set a, a, a higher bar uh, uh, for all militaries around the world in, in, in this very, very difficult conflict. This modern manifestation of warfare between the, the nation state the, the functional liberal democracy who abides by the rules in, in an incredibly difficult circumstances and on the other hand the non-state actor who deliberately acts out of uniform inside civilian locations using child soldiers uh, well, with on, the you're, desire you're to generate it, forgive death me interrupting you, sir, on all you're calling sides it a of difficult the, of the conflict, conflict. Uh, you're calling it a difficult conflict and you're talking about uh, rockets yes. and people being hidden within a civilian population the united nations gave you the coordinates for that school in Jabalia 17 times and it was still hit. Israel's a member of the United Nations as well. I mean, it's showing contempt for, for, for the organisation by still hitting a school which the UN has said, we are here, don't hit us. Well, well, to be fair, uh, uh, first of all, we do not target United Nations installations. Uh, everybody is fully aware of the fact, and we have a, a very good working relations with the, the United Nations and, and UNRWA down there in the, in the Gaza Strip. But, but the, the example that you're giving is one which is currently being uh, uh, investigated. Nobody knows whether it was Israeli fire or whether it was Hamas fire that actually hit the school. There is a chance that it was Israeli fire. I'm not saying there isn't. There is also a chance that it was Hamas fire. What we do know is that our troops in the area who were out there decommissioning these terror tunnels which, which we've taken control of uh, came under fire from Hamas terror organization uh, uh, people located adjacent to the school in the vicinity and, and, and our troops uh, uh, returned fire in a defensive action. Whose fire hit the school is something that we need to find out right now. Okay, uh, but then do you the would you say then would you what say then that hitting a school directly with a, a killer strategy of Hamas? You you are worried about rockets coming from schools, and UNRWA has said yes, there have been rockets in schools which they have dismantled and taken apart and taken away. They have specifically said there was mm -hmm. not a rocket in this school. But are you saying that because there might be a rocket in a school or there might be weapons in a school that it makes it a fair target? Again, the United Nations is giving you the coordinations. You say you've got a good relationship with them. No, They're not, not happy with you at the moment. I interviewed one of them earlier today. They're not happy with you. 
No, 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 not at all. I, I did not say that there was firing from the school. I said to you specifically uh, uh, that there was firing from Hamas located adjacent to the school, in the vicinity of the school, and, and, and that our troops who came under attack uh, in defending themselves responded and returned fire. Now, we still do not know who it was that actually hit the school. That is being investigated, and we will find out, and, and if it was us, we will, of course, uh, we, we were well known for our transparency, and we will, we will tell people about that. But the responsibility for what happened at the school today it lies directly with a murderous killer strategy of Hamas which deliberately is drawing fire towards civilians. Okay, let's move the conversation on. I want to ask you a couple of other things. I'd like you to actually explain to us and to our viewers and maybe even to people in Gaza who are watching mm -hmm. this. How is all this going to end? How is Israel going to define the end of this operation? Well, there are two paths that we're going down simultaneously with the same goal. The goal is to find a, 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 a formula whereby these terror organizations, these, these, these worshippers of death, uh, Hamas and the Islamic Jihad and others, uh, will no longer subject the, the civilians of Israel, the Israeli public, uh, uh, to random attack. Now, okay. I, I'm, I myself am what's a diplomat. A, what's a formula, I, I though? That's a, that's a very particular the, in word in the, in the you've used there group. and not a word and I've heard before. You're saying you want to find a formula that's for That's exactly... This. This is exactly the challenge. This is exactly the challenge. Is that we, if, as soon as we have identified, we, Israel and the international community, uh, 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 the formula by which there is a guarantee that these terror organizations will no longer target our civilians, and that is what the conversation is about, uh, uh, then there will be calm. When it is calm in Israel, it will be calm there. Until such time, unfortunately, we, we didn't want to be in this conflict, but until such time as we find that formula, uh, the government of Israel has no choice but to activate the military and to instruct the military to put an end so to it. So until then, the Secretary until General such time, of the United you are Nations happy, himself, just a few sorry days to ago, interrupt you. here in Israel... You're happy to go open-ended. Is that what you're saying? You're happy to go open-ended with this conflict until you have... Whatever, uh, I, however you define this formula in the end. And until such time, we are extremely unhappy to have to pursue the military option. There, there, there is nobody uh, uh, on the Israeli side of this conflict who is happy about it. Uh, uh, let's be clear. The Palestinian people are not our enemy. We would like nothing more than to resolve our differences with the Palestinian people and the Arab world at large. The, the Hamas and the other terror organizations in Gaza are the primary obstacle to our being able to do that. They will do everything that they possibly can to generate misery and death on both sides of this conflict. What we need to do, and, and we've seen both the European Union and the United States in the last couple of days standing shoulder to shoulder with Israel on this issue, is we need to disarm the terror organizations. It's become patently clear that the Gaza Strip needs to be de demilitarized.